Hello my lovely lipstickers. How are you today? So let me show you what I got going on here today. Can you see? Can you see? So he oh my plate chipped. Uh-uh, chow. That ain't even cute. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I don't care for real. So how are you guys today? Let me get some water. I love me some cold water. So y'all, that little slick ponytail I had started poofing up on me because it was like 90 degrees outside and I just ain't have time to do nothing. So here we go again with the scarf. But anyway, hold on one second. So, wait. I didn't put my phone on airplane mode. Please, Lord, don't let nobody call me. So anyway, this one, here we have chicken Alfredo. Okay, this is cheap and um, lazy Alfredo because I like to make my Alfredo sauce with like Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, and butter. But I have time, first of all, Parmesan cheese is four dollars the kind that you grate yourself so this I needed something cheap and quick so here we have just some pasta penne pasta and um chicken thighs because they're cheaper than chicken breast boneless skinless chicken thighs I hate when people on these apps that I sell on they'll ask what's the lowest I'm willing to go why can't you just send me an offer and if I deny it then I'll um I'll count we can counter offer you know back and forth back and forth anyway so it's just the um penne pasta stupid frozen broccoli which I really don't even like broccoli for real And then it's um chicken thighs and then all these roasted garlic um alfredo sauce and my favorite artesian bread from all these that I put in the oven with some um what's it called put it I put it in the oven then when it came out I put some butter on it. I really wanted some food from a restaurant but here it is and when I cook my chicken I just cut it up and put it in the pan and I don't think I put no oil in there I just had a non-stick pan and creates its own little juices not a lot but a little bit enough to keep it from sticking then I seasoned it with Italian seasoned pepper salt and garlic powder and then I did the same after I mixed everything together pepper salt garlic, pepper, garlic powder <laughs> and Italian seasoning I put a bunch in there though so that I can you know get the jar taste together with the sauce you know make it taste better so A couple of y'all asked me about, asked me to tell you about when I had my son and about being pregnant. I don't remember a lot. It wasn't that bad though. I know I wish people would talk about being pregnant more often. <laughs> um. It feels like an alien is growing inside of your body. <laughs> um, I mean, it was a great experience. 
I just don't want to do it again. So anyway, um, when I got pregnant, my baby was the oopsie baby. Which means he wasn't planned. Hey, don't get mad at me. It's just the truth, okay? <laughs> and so, um, I was sick. Probably like, as soon as I found out, it's like I instantly got sick. All up until the end, I wasn't sick at all. But as soon as I seen that positive test, I was sick for like, I want to say like the first month, maybe. And then, you know, um, after that, I was fine. I was 23. I wish I would know the things that I know now, back then, when I had my baby. Or when I was pregnant. Um, I was in nursing school to become an LPN when I was pregnant with him. Um, I mean, it was pretty much easy after throwing up. My stomach didn't get that big. Maybe like a little basketball. My butt got huge. My boobs were huge and heavy and I hated them and I wanted to rip them off my chest. <laughs> um, I ate a bunch of crap. Which if I would have known the importance of food back then, then I wouldn't have eaten all the crap that I did when I was pregnant with him. Um, if I could do it all over again now, I wouldn't even go to a real doctor. I would have like a natural person that doesn't believe in all the medical stuff that's just out for them to get money. So anyway, I um I was induced, which means they give you oxytocin, I think it is, to make you contract so you can start having a baby because my doctor was going on vacation and I didn't want a resident, so they sped up the process for me around my due date. So I um, went to the hospital. Excuse me. I remember getting the oxytocin to start the contractions. Then I got the epidural. Went to sleep till about. First of all, I was so thirsty. I was so freaking thirsty and they don't let you drink. I think it's in case you gotta go for surgery or something. I don't know. Didn't learn that in nursing school either. <laughs> but they do not let you drink. And so why, before I got my epidural, <laughs> why was I going to the bathroom? drinking out the sink that's so trifling <laughs> but I was so thirsty I've never been so thirsty in my entire life I could not take it them stupid ice chips don't do nothing even if you try to let it melt down I was like man I went to the bathroom so many times and I was drinking right out that sink <laughs> I did not care I should have made me two pieces of bread Mm -mm. Now the sun wanna come out. Now I get this bright light in my face. And so, um, okay, so that was before I got the epidural. Then I got the epidural, and of course I couldn't move. So I went to sleep till about two, two thirty, and then I started to push. And the brother came out about two forty. It wasn't hard. Them contractions hurt. Oh my gosh, them contractions feel like you got little midgets standing on top of your uterus with little bitty hammers swinging the hammers on top of your uterus. 
that's what it feels like the worst pain ever like imagine your period times 10 million cramps your period cramps times 10 million that's how your contractions will feel okay horrible and um what else yeah i pushed them out after a couple pushes i didn't feel nothing couldn't even tell that i was pushing for real and when he came out they handed him to me i cried a little bit and then i was like oh my gosh what am i gonna do with this baby <laughs> and then that was it i kept my baby in the nursery a lot because i was tired but if if i was me now i wouldn't do that i would have him in the room like all the time like whatever y'all need to do you could do it right here no you do not have to say don't let doctors and nurses intimidate you you have so many rights and you feel like because they have a title that they know what's best for you and your baby no whatever you feel is best is what you do okay don't let nobody tell you nothing different don't be scared of nobody because remember i'm a nurse okay i'm a regular person i'm a goofy nurse <laughs> You know, I'm not working as one right now, but I'm a nurse. People just go to school for stuff, but they're still regular people. I don't care what kind of title they have. And that goes for anything. Don't ever let people intimidate you. Oh, and I do want to say, I'm not going to give my opinion on vaccines. Because I don't feel like arguing with nobody in the comments. But I want to say, do your research on vaccines and make sure you dig deeper than the surface with vaccines and um actually um look up vaccine injuries and how many are hidden every year every day okay just and then you make the decision for yourself whether or not your child should get them okay just just look into it instagram youtube facebook google look it up for yourself It's amazing to me how we just do stuff and don't even question stuff. We just do it because that's what we've done and known our whole lives. Everybody just follows the leader, follows the leader. Don't nobody want to ask no questions on why we do stuff. I've been eating this pasta all day. I feel like I ain't got no energy. <laughs> I have not a one laugh. Not a one joke. See, I feel like I'm whispering, but I know once I play this back, I know I'm not whispering. Or speaking softly. But after I pushed my baby out, I drank like 20 cans of, um, what's it called? Ginger ale. Seacrum's ginger ale. I drank like 20 cans and I was like, mm, this is ridiculous. I'm so thirsty. I don't know why I was that thirsty. Mm, 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 mm. But I really enjoy feeling him inside of me, like moving and kicking. That was really cool. And you know, just the process of it getting bigger. That was pretty cool. Yeah, my baby was good. He was nice and quiet. Like, I never knew when he needed anything. He didn't cry when he needed a stop or change. He didn't cry when he was hungry. I just had to guess. <laughs> but yeah, my stuff wasn't that spectacular. But you gotta remember, everyone's experience is different. Like my friend, she was throwing up from the time she had him to the time she pushed him out or had a C-section. And she um, was on bed rest. So you just never know. And the best thing about being pregnant, I mean, after I pushed that baby out, my stomach went right back down. <laughs> But everybody doesn't get that. And I will never take that chance to do it again. Because I might not be that blessed. 
Mm, I just don't have the patience though. Like, like I said, my son be knocked out. We be knocked out together. I can't imagine a baby waking me up right now looking for me to feed him. And also, look into breastfeeding. Because that's similar. Mm -mm. Like, what is that for real? I'm mad I didn't breastfeed my son. Like, I got discouraged because he wasn't latching on. And then there wasn't a nurse there that cared enough to help me. So I just stopped him and gave him formula. Because, you know, people be worried. Your baby's not going to die of starvation if it's just a little bit until he latches on. He or she latches on. But if you want to breastfeed, look into it. The benefits of it and all of that compared to this Similac. That's nothing but a bunch of chemicals. Um, and um, look into that. And then... Uh, make sure you ask for a lactation nurse if the regular nurse doesn't help you with um, breastfeeding because I feel like it'll be worth it you know what I'm saying instead of giving your baby all these dang on chemicals like that's not real food and that damn can powder like what the hell is that but anyway sorry I'm not you know this pasta got me down y'all <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be back with some brand new energy, okay? Whew, yeah. mm. All right, I got work to do. eBay is not moving for me. I look like I'm sweating. That's just the sun, though. Beaming. Beaming. Y'all remember, remember that from Sunday? First Sunday? Was that first Sunday? I think I sang this before. I be saying the same stuff in my videos. Willie really beaming. I keep the ladies screaming. <laughs> that was so whack. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Until tomorrow. Oh, whoever's down with me for the 30 day workout, I'm working out two nights. It's July. I mean, it is August 7th, 2016. I'm starting tonight. I don't care if you do 10 squats, do some planks, do some jumping jacks, do something. Okay, get moving so we can move as we get older. Because if you don't move it, you lose it. All right, until next time. Oh, oh, I'll be forgetting. Smile <laughs> because you're beautiful. And remember to love yourself because if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Okay, finally, toodles. <laughs>